pastoralists produce under very harsh conditions, such as dry lands, mountains areas, uh, cold areas, all these areas represent about half of the surface of the planet. In other words, pastoralists produce food where no crop can grow. Pastoralism is incredibly important for India and but also for many other countries and we really believe, you know, if pastoralism falls out of the picture, the world will starve. To me, the, the main challenge of the pastoral people is uh, to be considered really as a guardian of uh, many different uh, genetic resources, as a guardian of culture, as a guardian of environment. So it's not only looking at them as a, a livestock keeper, that they are using a traditional way of, uh, of breeding or, or husbandry, but uh, just to be considered something more. Pastoralism is not only a production system, it's a lifestyle. Mobility is, 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 is a very important in, in pastoralism. In many countries, the national frontiers go through pastoral lands. So the challenges are yeah, obviously to cross those borders, but to do so in a legal way. Many governments um, skirt the problem. Um, this leaves the pastoralists uh, vulnerable to their land being appropriated um, for other uses. Pastoralists have, in the developing world, even in the rich world, pastoralists have been left behind, with a few notable exceptions. The pastoralists in only have is very important. A very important initiative for, for pastoralists all around the world because there is a, a, an important table where different partners uh, could uh, work to improve the, the, the reality of the pastoralists. It could be a good instrument to link pastoralist uh, organization with uh, policy makers uh, and uh, amplifying pastoral voice uh, at uh, international level. We have different pillars or we have different activities to develop. It could be based on advocacy, communication, information exchange, um, partnering with, uh, with other stakeholders to really advocate for pastoralism, uh, developing tools or knowledge inside house in FAO, or uh, really est building a strong as association or, or strong regional networks of, pastoral of pastoralists. What we expect is to uh, see a number of policies and programs revised, and these programs address pastoral concerns and pastoral needs and are endorsed and adopted by the respective governments. So we have to do this in the first place. We have to do this in the first place. We have to do this in the first place. We have to do this in the first place. In also see him in her world, much tinted lately, talked more than our art soldier. The hub will be uh, an initiative that will grow over the time to give the voice to the people that in this moment most likely are moving, looking for water and pasture, and that they have the time, the opportunity to speak. So the knowledge is now coming along, but it needs to be translated into action. I have not yet found a problem that has not been addressed successfully somewhere. So partly it's about inspiring action. It's about saying to country X, you don't have to see this as a barrier. You know, country Y, country Z, they found solutions. You'll find a solution too if you have the same willingness, if you're willing to go through the process, if you're willing to talk with pastoralists uh, and go through a sort of problem-solving process. Et maintenant euh, que nous avons pu nous, nous organiser, Nous voulons avoir une voix forte pour porter des argumentaires au niveau des politiques pour vraiment influencer les politiques de la région et du monde d'une manière générale.